And today we're going to show you the uh, OBD droid uh, off a, a Droid X. Named it OBD for onboard uh, Android. And as you can see, the um, display is fairly basic with our graphic system. We have a, on the doors tab, we have unlock and lock. Unlock the driver, toot the horn, uh, start the engine, kill the engine, and then the user can be able to select his or her vehicle, including the Starship Enterprise, etc. In the windows, we can select up, down for the driver, left, rear, up, down, passenger, up, down, etc. The sunroof, and, and vehicles that have hatches, unlock the hatch, and then rear window as well. For the radio, we have a radio on button, mute, voice recognition, channel up, channel down, scan, stop, volume, favorites up and down. For seats, we can uh, turn on the heat for the driver and the passenger, move the seats forward and back, including the seat memories, and seat back full. We're working on our lights for the headlights, brights, parking, emergency, and uh, some dome dimming capability percentages. And of course, we have a monitor terminal so we can watch the traffic go across. So at this point, you know, if you're having a party and you want to turn your radio on your truck, we'll just go to the radio. And as you, by the way, we're going to show you that the key is not in there. And then Todd's going to show you that there's no key in the ignition. So we're going to back out of here. And so at this point, we're going to connect to the MX. Select connect. Select MX. And it vibrates and tells us that we're connected. So we're going to back up here and uh, select the radio and crank on the radio. Enjoy some tunes. So what we're going to also show you is from here we can turn that volume down. And the volume up. Change the channel. Channel down. Preview with music from a movie called In Switzerland. And the source. Kind of sales presentation, but it must have been one heck of a. Then we're going to go favorites up. That's my favorite. And then of course we can mute and unmute, including voice recognition. Radio help. Radio help. The following radio commands are available. I'm going to shut it off. Voice recognition canceled. Okay, and then we'll just back out here. I'll shut the radio off. And then back out here, we're going to start the engine. So the engine does start. Now I can uh, drive my truck. And then we can uh, stop the engine. And we can unlock the doors. Let's see, Charles is going to show you that the door is locked. We can unlock. And the seat moves forward. Obviously, just like a key fob. And then lock the doors. And we're working on the horn. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do is show you uh, the Windows capability, but we're going to need the key and the ignition uh, until we figure this out. So we're in the keys ignition in the, in the first, so we're going to show you from this angle that we're going to lower and raise the right rear. And then have it come down. And since we got that in there, of course we're working on the rest of it, we can go to the seats and move the seat memory. Or actually, there we go. That seat full back, and then if I get in the car, it goes to seat memory too. I don't not, I don't have all these banks set in. So I'm going to turn the ignition on so you can watch the seat heat. And then across the way you'll see that the passenger heat. There's high temperature. And we're waiting for the other one to come down. So it looks like we're going to have to fix that problem too. So it looks like that's going to be something we have to work on. Uh, the heat's not coming back down normally that worked before. But then we also have a terminal mode. Let me shut the radio off. But we can't shut the radio off with the engine running. Oh, the engine's running, yeah. So 
So um, I think we're going to show you next is the terminal. So we can actually go and uh, monitor the system. I'll just put uh, STP2, I'll put headers on, monitor on, and that's the traffic that's uh, as the truck is quieting down. You know, you see all kinds of uh, ELM, OBD system, but this helps us troubleshoot and uh, when we send commands back and forth. That's all we have for you today, Dave, and uh, we'll get some more later on once we get better uh, acquainted with the system. I'll be away uh, to Texas for a while until the 21st, and then Todd and I will get right back on it. So.